year when the Michigan State Spartans beat the Iowa Hawkeyes 71 to 70 in overtime. The Hawkeyes win the opening tip. Steve Carfino, who scored the opening bucket in the win against Michigan last Saturday, plays catch with Kenny Arnold. And Stokes can't handle the first pass to him. And the Spartans come away with it. This is Sam Vincent over to Kevin Smith. And Smith will direct the attack. The leading scorer in the Big Ten, averaging over 21 points a game in conference play, 16 points overall. Loves to go to the bucket. Nice spin move right there by Kevin Smith. If he gets hot, watch out. And Michigan State takes an early 2-0 lead. Kevin Smith did the same thing to the Hawkeyes last year where they uh, defeated the Hawks by one point, the second to last game of the season. Kevin Smith was just outstanding. I want to point out, Bob, that right now here's a 3-2 zone by Michigan State. And if you notice, Mudd, their starting center, is playing the point out in front on the zone. Carfino hits from way outside, and we're tied at two. It is rather unusual to see a big guy out there chasing the guards. Mudd at 6'9", considered a better defensive center than his backup, which is Kevin Willis. We'll probably see Willis, a seven-footer out of Detroit, probably early in the ballgame. Derek Perry, and here's Smith again. No good this time. Stokes goes up with it. The pass inside to Mudd. The assist to Ben Tower. So a long rebound. And it nets two points for the Spartans. They take a 4-2 lead. We played over a minute and a half, 18-19. Left to play here in the first half. Hope you're enjoying it along the Iowa Television Network. Bob Hogue along with Sharm Sherman. Iowa used a man-to-man -man the first time down the court on defense. They were in a zone the last time. Michigan State has been in this 3-2 zone uh, every time down the floor. Sometimes it almost appears that Richard Mudd is playing man-to-man -man on Steve Carfina. And that's what you call the matchup. Boy, I tell you, the, the crowd really alive here at Genesis. We remarked about that earlier. Gus Kanaka says the crowd really gets in, and they have risen to the occasion. As we said earlier, uh, against especially ranked teams, better ball clubs, they defeated Minnesota, if you or excuse me, they defeated Indiana, the first Big Ten game of the season here on it, at Jenison Fieldhouse. Carfino four, Michigan State four. Over two and a half minutes gone in this particular ball game. They beat Indiana. Their losses in the conference to Illinois, Minnesota, and Purdue. And here's Tower. This turnaround good. And a foul after the shot apparently will go against Richard Mudd. The basket will count, however. And Michigan State on top again by two. That's been their biggest lead. 6-4. Judd Heathcote. The Michigan State coach says uh, before the season, he says, we have probably more talent than any one college team should have. They, they will rotate a lot of their big men. They'll be using four or five men in the three inside positions. Jet Heathcote, in his sixth year here at Michigan State, he's, of course, already won an NCAA championship. Back with Magic Johnson. Stokes in the corner to Carfino again. Same spot, not the same result. And Kevin Boyle has it stolen away by Vincent. Here come the Spartans. They love to break. Vincent a little bit out of control, but Smith comes up with it now. Smith to Perry. Not a great shooter. A little bit tentative right there. And here come the Hawkeyes in a hurry. A much faster paced game than we've seen in the late going of the Big Ten. Arnold has it knocked down, gets his own ball back and scores. How about that? 6-6, six, 16-24 six, left to play in the first half. Arnold with two, Carfino with four. Carfino goes down, Perry, Smith, jumper at the free throw line, no good. Kenny Arnold gets it. Carfino to Arnold. Arnold, by the way, second in the Big Ten in field goal percentage. Remember how cold he was in the preseason? Hitting only about 31% of his shots. Now he's hitting in the Big Ten, 63%. Boyle, Gannon inside, has it knocked away, and a foul on Derek Perry, his first, team second. Bob, a, a 3-2 zone is a perimeter zone. Here we see it again. Mark Gannon gets fouled inside. The Hawks are still going to have to attack a perimeter-type zone at the free throw line and inside. They're going to have to get the ball inside. Even if they don't get the shot, they're going to have to penetrate and then back on out. But I look for the Hawks to take the ball inside to hurt Michigan State. 
Mark Gannon at the free throw line to shoot a pair. They're tied at six, the Hawkeyes' first chance to take the lead. And Gannon's first opportunity, no good. The state of Michigan had two outstanding high school guards last year. Eric Turner, starting guard for Michigan, who we saw last Saturday, and Sam Vincent. And Van Sam Vincent was voted uh, Mr. Basketball uh, in the state of Michigan last year. Shows you how good he is, because we were very impressed with Eric Turner last week. Gannon misses them both. We're tied at 6, 15-35 left to play in the first half. Here's Iowa in that zone. Smith. Vincent over Boyle. Bibbins, Cleveland Bibbins into the ball game for the first time. Cleveland Bibbins of sophomore, 6'6 JC transfer out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Considered an excellent leaper and score. He's number 50. Carfino to Gannon. Gannon has trouble with it. Stokes was wide open. Now he gets it. The turnaround and Stokes hits on his first opportunity. Michigan State is playing with a smaller ball club now. Mudd is out of the ball game, and they brought in Cleveland Bibbins, but uh, it looks like Tower now is their, is their tallest man. So Michigan State is going with a smaller ball club. Cleveland Bibbins listed at 6'6". I'm not sure that he's that tall, although he does have a tendency to slump just a little bit. Very small lineup now being employed by the Spartans. Apparently they think it's quicker, better offensively. Tower. Has trouble with it in front of Boyle. Sam Vincent, Mr. Basketball in Michigan a year ago. Smith. This is Derek Perry now against Stokes. Iowa on top, 8-6. to six. Smith from long range, good. <laughs> Tied at 8 now, 14-13 left to play before intermission. Carfino wig-wagging the signs out there, indicating some sort of offensive ploy. Kevin Smith, with four points, I believe, so far, is leading the Big Ten Conference in scoring with a 21.2 average. Carfino penetrates all the way good. And a blocking foul called on Smith. So Carfino will go to the line, a chance to put the Iowa Hawkeyes up by three points. I see where Cleveland Bibbins, at the, uh, after the foul, goes over to talk to Judd Heathcote. Lute Olson called Kevin Boyle over to talk to him. And Carfino, you saw the excellent penetration. I think he was thinking about dishing off at that point. But instead, he took it all the way. And here's the free throw. Good. And we've got a timeout. The Iowa Hawkeyes on top by three, 11 to 8, 13 56 left to play. Hey, Vincent led the Big Ten in scoring a year ago, and it looks like a Michigan State player could do it again this year with Kevin Smith. Cleveland Bibbins, Derek Perry now. Smith got Boyle up in the air, tries it, Gannon with the rebound. And Carfino has trouble, picks it up, double dribble. That time Steve Carfino was gonna throw up ahead to Kenny Arnold because the Hawks are trying to get the ball down the court in an up-tempo type of ball game and Kenny Arnold was running away and didn't see Steve, he knew he couldn't pick it up. And now the Michigan State Spartans put in their big man. When they come down, you'll get a chance to take a look at him. Number 42, Kevin Willis, a seven-foot sophomore out of Detroit, Michigan. That's Willis in the low post. And the ball tipped out of bounds. It will go to Michigan State. This, interestingly enough, is the lineup that we had anticipated. The Spartans going with Vincent and Smith, Willis, Perry, and Tower. Locks up by three. 13 minutes left to play in the first half. Inside to Tower. Perry now. Vincent. And he traveled. Kevin Boyle putting on the defensive pressure caused a travel. So far in the season, no team has scored over 70 points against the Hawks. And here we have 13 minutes to go in the first half. And uh, Michigan State only has eight points. Of course, Michigan uh, held under 40. An amazing defensive performance on Saturday for the Hawkeyes. Carfino to Gannon, cross courts to Boyle. great drive, and Boyle scores. Iowa up by five now. Iowa 13, Michigan State eight. With a little patience, uh, I think the Hawks can work the ball around and maneuver this Michigan State zone. They may end up going back into their basic 2-3 and go out of this uh, basically 3-2 th zone that they're using. 
No team fouls so far on the Iowa Hawkeye. Rather an oddity at this point on a visiting court. Three on Michigan State. And Vincent fires it out of bounds. So the defensive pressure of the Hawks obviously bothering them. And Jet Heathfield is Iowa leading at 13 to 8. This is the Iowa television foot injury, and it was on crutches for most of this week after an injury suffered in the Michigan game. Is playing a, a good ball game, Sharp. I believe he is. Look at this 3-2 uh, zone with Willis at seven foot out at the top of the uh, at the top of the circle. That's uh, got to make a little. Uh, there's a foul on him though. And Willis trying to fight through a screen set by Mark Gannon. I don't even think he saw it coming. How would you like to be Steve Carfino at 6'2 and start dribbling around? And there's a seven-footer out there guarding you at uh, about uh, 20, 22 feet away. And you saw the foul, the 14 foul against Michigan State. Remember, Iowa has none with 11.52 left to play in the first half. The first on Willis. Carfino doing an excellent job of directing the attack. He had 11 assists against Michigan on Saturday afternoon. Kevin Boyle bothered by Smith a bit. Carfino quick pass to Arnold. Carfino down the lane again, dishes off to Boyle. To Greg Stokes, he'll try it, and Stokes is two of two. Stokes with four points. Iowa leads it 15 to eight. That was a smart assist by Kevin Boyle. If he'd have gone up, he might have had the shot block. He faked the shot and gave to uh, Greg Stokes on a nice pass. Kevin Smith against Arnold. The big job for the Iowa Hawkeyes is trying to contain Smith. And here's Vincent up in the air. Rebound, Arnold. Save to Tower. And Tower's got a layup. And he scored. Gannon couldn't quite get to it. A five-point Hawkeye lead now, 15 to 10. 10.45 left to play in the first half. Hope you're enjoying this uh, on KWWL in the Waterloo Cedar Rapids, Iowa City area. Carfino quickly to Kenny Arnold. His jumper good. And the Hawks continue to tear the nets apart. Arnold with four points. A seven-point Hawkeye lead. Tower inside to Willis. Gets away from Stokes. And the seven-footer score. Back to a five-point advantage. Iowa's biggest lead has been seven. Michigan State has, has changed their zone. They're in that 2-3, which they're famous for. And they've gotten out of that 3-2 with Willis. Instead of playing the point, he is now back under the basket. Boyle flashing the lane. Goes up, can't score it. Willis with a rebound. But Kevin was wide open. Past the midpoint of the first half now. 9.55 left to play before intermission. Here's Smith. No good. Willis, the seven-footer, really in the ball game now. Gannon with the rebound. Here's Arnold. He's bothered. And Gannon will retrieve it. Second time that offside rebound has come to Arnold, and he hasn't been able to handle it. Boyle to Gannon. And he's fouled by Willis. That'll be Willis's second. Judd Heathcote apparently disagrees with the call. The big knock on Willis is that he is not a good defensive player. That's why he didn't start tonight. I like to see that pass. Mark Gannon used a flash post. He came into the high post. Willis wasn't ready for it. Uh, that makes things happen when you come into the middle against the zone. Bobby Hansen set to come into the Iowa lineup for the first time. Hansen, the Hawkeyes' leading scorer at this point. Arnold, good. Kenny with six points. And again, a seven-point Hawkeye advantage. Kevin Boyle bothering Kevin Smith. The crowd and Judd Heathcote in a rage wanted a foul. Under nine minutes to play before intermission. The Hawkeyes looking very strong here in Jenison Fieldhouse. Cleveland Bibbins, Sam Vincent now against Carfino. Vincent up in the air. He scores his foul. The basket will count. Great, that really was great defensive play by Steve Carpino. He was with. And it's good. Closest Michigan State has been for a few minutes. 1915 now. Hansen into the lineup, replacing Kevin Boyle. So Hansen will play the quick forward spot. Carfino to Hansen. And he has it knocked away, stolen away by Bibbin. And here's Smith. And the Spartans with a chance to cut into the Hawkeye lead, get it down to two points now. 
with 8.25 left to play before intermission. Vincent, who just scored the three-point. Smith inside to Willis, away from Stokes, blocked by Stokes, foul by Stokes. Kurt James checked into the Michigan State lineup. He's number 30. Kurt James, a 6'7 senior out of Pontiac. Good rebounding forward. Good defensive player. Not much of an offensive threat. The Hawkeyes with the basketball. Up by two. Their biggest lead has been seven at a couple of junctures. Here's Stokes to Arnold. Great move inside. Tipped up. And the bucket by Hanson, I believe. Bobby Hanson with a beautiful tip with a left hand. And Iowa with a four-point advantage. Tremendous weak side rebound, offensive rebound by Bobby. He anticipated well and went to the boards tough. Vincent, James, and back to Vin Vincent. 7.30 left to play in the first half. Hope you're enjoying this one along the Iowa Television Network. And the Hawkeyes break the Jenison Jinx. Lead it by four, 21 to 17. Inside, knocked away by Stokes, recovered by Carfino, ahead to Hansen. Two on two break, and Hansen is fouled by Vincent. 72. Now let's see if the Hawks, uh, no, I, good. That's, um, I thought maybe they were going to uh, maybe bring Michigan State out of their uh, zone, but I, that might lose the momentum that the Hawks have now with a four point lead. Cross-court pass to, pass to Hansen, and he's fouled by Tower. Hansen will go to the line because the Hawkeyes now in the bonus. But Bobby Hansen used his head on this. Now, as this pass comes across to him, watch how he gets his body in way. He sees Tower coming, so he turns a little bit, and almost like he's trying to uh, protect himself from Tower. Two. So Hansen at the line, one in the bonus. And Bobby is perfect. Hansen now with three points, coming into the ball game, averaging 11.8 and not hitting his free throws too prolifically this year, 58%. That's a surprising statistic for Bobby. He hits them both this time though, and Iowa by six, 23 to 17. Here comes Kevin Smith. Held to four points in the early going of this ball game. As we mentioned earlier, the Hawkeyes wanted to contain Smith. Down goes Hanson in the lane, but he's back up in a hurry. Vincent recovered. 6.35 left to play in the first half now. Iowa in the 1-3-1. Smith to Willis. Vincent now. Stokes and Willis really fighting inside. Kevin Smith, no good. And Kevin Boyle has four Hawkeyes surrounded. Here come the Hawks in a hurry. Carfino slows it down a bit. Hansen thought about it. Pass to Arnold. Stolen away. Here's Vincent all by himself. We've got a foul. It's a slam dunk, but it won't count. The foul near the midcourt line. We'll pause five seconds now to allow our local stations to identify themselves. This is the Iowa State. The crowd here in the Jenison Fieldhouse did not like it at all. And it won't go down for Kevin Willis. And the foul inside will go against Greg Stokes. So quickly the Hawkeyes come up with two more personal fouls. Four team fouls now on Iowa. The first on Greg Stokes. Excuse me, number two. The Hawks will zone up on the out-of-bounds play. And then they'll go into a 1-3-1 uh, one, one zone with Kevin Boyle on the back line. And this is not what the Hawks really want to do. They would much prefer Mark Gannon when he goes back in playing that back line instead of Kevin. Kevin is more valuable on the way. Derek Perry, drive. Dishes off to Tower. No good. Stokes tips it over the backboard. Possession rule this year. And the inbound goes right to Vincent, who was all by himself. And Hanson called for the foul. So Iowa picking up some fouls in quick succession right now. Bobby Hansen is whistled for it. He had to shoot him, but it probably was called after the shot. So Michigan State gets it back again. Seems like they've had it for about a minute and a half here. Haven't been able to cut any closer than six. Perry misses everything. 
and Boyle retrieves it. Here come the Hawkeyes, leading 23-17. 5.09 left to play in the first half. The Hawks, I think, have been more patient with their offense than Michigan State. There, that proves me wrong. They, they lost the ball on a turnover. But Michigan State, the Iowa defense has been doing a very good job. Kevin Smith took a bad shot earlier. Derek Perry took one uh, right then that I don't think that's the shot Judd Heathcote wants them to take. I think Michigan State is becoming a little bit frustrated with their offense. And we've got a uh, problem, and he's being taken out of the arena. So play resumes, 4.50 left to play here in the first half. Iowa enjoying a six-point lead, but they haven't had their hands on the basketball in a while. Smith to Vincent. Carfino right in front of him, but Smith scores anyway. A great dish off there by Kevin Smith. And Vincent school. Sam Vincent now leading all Spartan scores with five points. The man right there with the basketball, Carfino, has seven. The lead all scores in the ballgame. Kenny Arnold now with six at 4.18 left to play in the first half. Iowa 23, Michigan State 19. Here's Stokes. Carfino. And the Hawks slowing it up just a little bit. Maybe they are trying to bring the Spartans out of that zone. Now and Lute Olson comes up and uh, signals, hey, let's go to the four corners. Wants to take the crowd out of it, apparently. Yeah, and uh, now, look, if you'll notice, uh, there's Willis coming out from underneath the basket, the seven-footer. The seven-footer comes out from under the basket, and he almost comes out to that point position again. They do. Michigan State, the book on Michigan State is that they will take their zone and just extend it. They will not go into a man-to-man, -man, but they will go into they will go into uh, an extended zone, and they call a, a five-second. I'd like to welcome the five stations along the Iowa Television Network, WOC-TV Davenport, KIMT-TV Mason City, WHO in Des Moines, KTIV in Sioux City, and KWWL in Waterloo, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City. The Iowa Hawkeyes up 23 to 19, 317 left to play in the first half. Mark Gannon hits it. And Gannon with his first two points of the ball game puts the Hawkeyes up by six. Mark Gannon just has come back into the game for Kenny Arnold just recently and uh, hit the hit the jumper, which the Hawks are going to have to hit against the Michigan State zone. Here's Perry with a jumper along the baseline. No good. Bobby Hansen way up in the air. Carfino brings it down, slows it up. Bob, let's keep Derek uh, Perry uh, shooting that 17-foot uh, jump shot, okay? He has not been hitting so far. Perry with no points in the ball game, and I think he's tried about four shots. Carfino was hot early. He still is. Steve Carfino with nine, and Iowa with its biggest lead. Eight points, 27-19, 2.30 left to play in the first half. The Hawks have their right shooter shooting. Michigan State does not right now. Smith, that's the man that should be shooting for the Spartans. Smith with the basketball to Vincent, and they play catch. Vincent, in front of Hanson, and Vincent will bring it out. And they try the other side. Pass inside to Tower, blocked by Stokes. Perry with it. Gannon had an opportunity to block it, couldn't do it. Stokes keeps it alive with Hanson. Hanson gets it. Great hustle by the Iowa Hawkeyes on the defensive end. Great block by Greg Stoke. You said it all right there, and Bobby Hansen's quick hands kept that ball in the Iowa possession. 145 left to play in the first half. Hansen from outside, no good. Here come the Spartans, two on one break. Smith and Vincent, and it is Vincent. Vincent scores inside, and it's down to a six point advantage now, 27 to 21. Kenny Arnold is gonna be coming back into the ball game. And uh, I think he'll be coming in for Bobby Hanson. I don't think Lute Olson liked that last shot of Bobby's. Down to 118. Kevin Boyle asks, do we want to play for one shot? And we'll see if they do indeed play for one. 110 left to play before halftime. Stay tuned at halftime for Frosty Mitchell's guest, Leanne Hughes, the Women's Sports Information Director at the University of Iowa. Judd Heathcote is saying, come on, let's go out and look who they bring out. They bring their big center out. No, they don't either. They just bring him out to the high post, knowing that Iowa's going to attack 
the Michigan State zone that is extended out onto the court. The Hawks are going to try to attack it in the middle, and that's why they have Willis playing uh, Bobby Hansen there in the middle. Down to 40 seconds now before halftime. The leading scorer for the Iowa Hawks in the first half, Carfino with nine. Arnold has six, but he's on the bench. Stokes with four, and Hansen with four. Under 30 seconds now. Down to 25. And a pass to Carfino. Gannon just gets it to Steve. And Carfino and Kevin Boyle play catch with it. 17 seconds to go. Hansen now looking inside. Tipped away and stolen by Willis. And he palmed the basketball. The big seven-footer couldn't get it down under the defensive pressure of Steve Carfino. So with nine seconds left in the first half, the Hawkeyes will get it back. And as Sharm mentioned, Kenny Arnold comes back into the Iowa lineup. Bobby Hansen will sit down. And Carfino plays with the clock a little bit. Seven seconds, six seconds, five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Nobody's going to get a shot off. And at halftime, the score, Iowa 27, Michigan State 27. Perry and Tower. The difference in the first half, the Iowa Hawkeyes shot a phenomenal 70%. Michigan State just 32%. But, whoa, Mudd with a slam, and I think he might be called for grabbing the rim. Yes, which will be a technical foul, and Iowa will get the ball after they have come down to shoot a free throw. Now, Kevin Smith saw that, went right up to the official, and he says... The rule says that you can grab the rim this time if it looks as though you're going to lose your balance if someone hits you. Kevin Smith says, did one of the Iowa players push, um, who was it, Willis? That, no, Mud, wasn't it? Richard Mud. It, it was Mud, and uh, the official says, no, that you cannot. If you go through and you grab onto the rim, it's a technical unless someone pushes you. So effectively, just like a one-point play there, because Iowa comes down, gets the free throw from Kenny Arnold, and they lead it by five. 28-23, but how about this for a start to the second half? As we were mentioning earlier, the Iowa Hawkeyes shot 70% from the floor, and Michigan State just 32%. But Iowa was out-rebounded 11-9 and committed seven turnovers to the Spartans' three. Carfino was hot in the first half. No, Stokes with a tip. And Greg Stokes, the freshman center, now with six points, and Iowa up by seven. I want to point out the Hawks faked a pass inside. Mudd had to go from the top of the circle, clear down under the basket, and then he had to come out and try to bother that jump shot. And he just can't. That's too far for a, the point man to cover. Derek Perry misses again. He's 0 for 6 in the ball game. Charm pointed out that the Hawks would just love for him to keep shooting. Iowa led in scoring by Steve Carfino with nine points. But now that man, Steve... Greg Stokes has six, and Kenny Arnold with six points as well. Mark Gannon, Carfino, bothered by Mud. Boyle inside to Gannon, and Gannon scores over Tower. Iowa by nine, their biggest lead, 32-23. They attack from the inside. They got the ball inside against the uh, this 3-2 uh, zone. And we've got a timeout. Judd Heathcote calls it Iowa by nine. This is the Iowa, and that's this man, Kevin Smith, who's been held in check most of the way. And Smith from outside again, won't hit it. Gannon with the rebound. Cleveland Bibbins checks into the Michigan State lineup. Here's Carfino. No good. Mud way up in the air. Quickly to Smith. The Spartans on the run. 18-13 left to play in the ball game. Bibbins baseline. No good. Tipped up by Mud. And Mud, known as a defensive player, has come alive on the offensive end of the court with four points in the second half. Michigan State now switching from the zone to the man-to-man. -man. Basically because Iowa was tearing them apart. Arnold now, good. Boyle goes down, four people step on him. But Boyle gets up. Iowa again by nine, that equals their biggest lead. 34-25, an excellent ball game from East Lansing, Michigan. 17-30, left to play in the ball game. Sam Vincent the freshman, Kevin Smith the senior. Smith gets the pick from Bibbins and hits it. Smith now with six points, but he hadn't scored there in about 15 minutes. Arnold gets away from Vincent. Carfino now. 
game is really sped up in tempo. Stokes has the trouble with it. Gets it to Arnold. Carfino from Arnold, now to Mark Gannon, guarded by Ben Tower. Tower considered an excellent inside defensive player. <laughs> Boyle guarded by Bibbon. Now Arnold inside to Stokes. Stokes with a turnaround. Won't go. And an offensive foul called against Greg Stokes. That's his third. First team foul here the second half, but the first player to get into foul trouble is Greg Stokes. That one might have gone the other way. Offensive foul on Greg Stokes with a quick turnaround. <laughs> Iowa back into that zone. <laughs> Iowa has changed their defense a little bit into a 2-3 zone. Uh, Mud is fouled by Boyle. And Mud is really come alive here. Richard Mud, the sophomore out of Washington, D.C., who was injured much of last season. Watch him go up over Boyle in the rim momentarily. And Michigan State has pulled it within five. The Hawkeyes had led by as much as nine. Arnold directing the Iowa offense right now. And let's see. I think that neither official knew what had happened right there. They both looked at each other for about five seconds, and Iowa got a bad break. Michigan State gets the ball out of bounds. Both officials looked at each other, and they didn't know what to call, and when you're in doubt, you call it for the home team, and that's exactly what happened. The lob didn't mind, and he hung on the rim again. What a great lob to Richard Mudd. But for the second time, Mudd hung on the rim. So for the second time... They walked away, they both kind of shrugged their shoulders and <laughs> flipped their hands, so neither one of them was very happy. Kenny Arnold to Mark Gannon now, guarded by Tower. This is Arnold. Vincent on him. Bobby Hansen into the Iowa lineup. Jerry Denard. The junior college transfer, Gannon inside, his turnaround good. So Gannon's hit inside twice here in the second half. Iowa back up top by six. That's what they led by at halftime. Bob, remember against Minnesota, they, Minnesota zoned the whole first half, went to a man-to-man -man in the second half, and the Hawks didn't adjust very well. Right now they've had a little trouble adjusting to the Michigan State man-to-man, -man, but they're posting up both Gannon and, uh, and also Bobby Hansen. Bobby Hansen's taking Kevin Smith in, and he's posting him up inside. Watch for Hansen underneath the basket. So the Spartans fail to score. Iowa can go back on top by eight again with a bucket right here. 37-31, 14-40 left to play in the ball game. Denard with a hook, his own rebound. He goes up, he's fouled. But a good, strong move by Jerry Denard. He's gonna try to hit inside, I think, to both of them. And Denard hits them both. Iowa back on top by eight, 39-31, 14-35 left to play. Hope you're enjoying this one along the Iowa Television Network. I know we have a lot of fans now in southern Minnesota and northern Iowa watching on KIMT in Mason City. Vincent, and he gets the good bounce and pulls the Spartans back to within six. Pretty good looking freshman guard for Michigan State, that's Sam Vincent. Seems to run in the family there with brother Jay now playing in the NBA. Boyle, down to 14 minutes left to play. Iowa by six, Hanson has it stolen away. Hanson committed two turnovers in the first half and commits another one right there. Vincent over Hanson, no good. Gannon with a power move and the rebound. Quickly Arnold to Hanson and he fires it out of bounds. The Hawks with a six-point lead, hoping to break it open possibly here, and have committed two straight turnovers without a shot. Down to 13.42 left to play in the ball game. Both coaches up off the bench, hollering vociferously against, at their team. Having 
Aristo Perez in the ball game for the first time. Perez, a 6'8 sophomore, number 43. Out of the Dominican Republic, played some high school ball up here in Michigan. Kevin Smith hits from outside. Kevin Smith now with eight, showing the form that has led him to the scoring lead in the Big Ten. Arnold all the way, has trouble, and he double dribble. And three straight turnovers by the Iowa Hawkeyes. No shots at all the last three times they've got the ball. 39-35, 13 minutes left to play. And Smith between his legs. Smith looks angry behind his back. I don't know what he's doing out there behind his legs, between his back, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I want to tell you that the guy's definitely wanting to play playground ball, apparently. Well, he can go ahead and do that as long as he doesn't keep hitting that jump shot. Smith from the corner again, no good. Weak side rebound. Boyle apparently touched it. Kevin goes over and talks to each other, not knowing what to call. I think every time they've gone with a home court. Every time I think they called the wrong thing. Vincent. And, and it's a two-point ball game again. 39-37. There's the story right there. And almost stolen away. Arnold wide open, can't hit it, Stokes up in the air, bodies all over the place, and here come the Spartans in a hurry, and Kevin Smith has tied it up. And the Hawkeyes want a timeout, they want to talk it over. This telecast, a presentation of the Iowa Television Network with all rights for television owned by Carnaby Square Teleproductions. Any use of this telecast, live or delayed, without the written consent of Carnaby Square Teleproductions is strictly prohibited. Kenny Arnold, with a tie ball game, puts the Iowa Hawkeyes back up by two. The Hawks, who had blown a nine-point advantage, and the Spartans had come back to tie it. But now Iowa up on top by two, 41 to 39. Kenny Arnold leading all scores with 12. And Mark Gannon commits the personal foul. But remember, Carfino is back on the bench. He had gone down in the training room, and he has an ice pack and holding his knee on the bench. If we can get a shot of that sometime. Steve Carfino's out, and he may not come back. Sam Vincent from outside. Can't hit it. Tipped up by a couple of Spartans. This is Perez, and he's blocked, and the foul is on Boyle. The Spartans really go into the board. And the second one is good. 41 to 40. Kevin Boyle with two personal fouls. Iowa with five team fouls now to Michigan State's one. And there's a long time left to play. Gannon posted his man up again and passes back outside to Kenny Arnold. Stokes to Boyle. Stokes looking inside to Hanson. Stead gets it to Arnold. Hanson wheels and deals. And we've got a foul underneath. It will go to Perez. The Hawkeyes calling for goaltending. I'm not sure whether... Someplace close. Uh, does he sit on the Michigan State bench? Hanson with two free throws. And he puts the Hawkeyes up by three. 43 to 40. Under 11 minutes left to play. We've got a good one from Jenison Fieldhouse in East Lansing, Michigan. Derek Perry is bothered. He drives. He goes up. He scores. Perry was triple teamed and all of a sudden saw an opening. Iowa with a one-point lead again, 43-42. Iowa led by as much as nine. Gannon with it. Boyle to Stokes. Passes up the shot. Here's Kevin Boyle, got the pick, decided to pass it up too. Iowa 43, Michigan State 42. Crowd really in the game, it gets really loud here. Stokes with the turnaround, good. Greg Stokes with eight big points. Subbing for the injured Michael Payne. I would say that's one of the bright spots of the Iowa offense right now is that Greg Stokes was able to turn around, face the bucket, and drain about a 10-foot jump shot. That's great to see. The Hawks sorely missing Steve Carfino. His offense supplied nine points in the first half, and he's on the bench with an ice pack on his right knee. Iowa by three. Smith, baseline jumper good. 
Kevin Smith has gotten hot. Eight of his 12 points coming here in the second half. I think defensively is where the Hawks may be missing Steve Carfino. He was doing an outstanding job on Kevin Smith. Mark Gannon drives the lane. And the foul will go against Michigan State's tower. The bucket is good. Look at this power move, and tower was not set. And he does. 48-44, 9.25 left to play. It's an eternity. Here come the Spartans now. Five team fouls on Iowa, three on Michigan State. Nobody in immediate foul trouble, although Stokes has three and Tower with three. The law passed to Mudd. He got away from Stokes. And the Spartans are lobbing inside to Mudd very, very well. Mudd now with 10 points. He had two in the first half. 48-46 now. 8.50 left to play in the ball game. Bob Hogan, Charm Sherman from East Lansing, Michigan. Bobby Hansen, guarded by the freshman Vincent. Hansen gets his man up in the air. Weak side rebound, Perry. Kevin Smith fires out to Vincent. The Hawks are in a man-to-man -man defense. And Kevin Boyle fouls Kevin Smith. 48, Michigan State, 46. The Spartans have rallied from a nine-point deficit. They have tied it once here in the second half. And to man pressure. Smith guarded by Boyle. Can't hit it. Great defensive pressure by Kevin Boyle. That's the switch that the Hawks have made, putting Boyle on Smith. Smith was really bothered that time. The Hawks working that triangle offense. Stokes can't get the pass. And Perry travels. The ball up in the air for a long time, and Perry traveled with it. And Steve Carfino, limping as he is, on a bad right knee, will come in anyway. Bobby Hansen will sit down. Hansen has made some mistakes offensively with bad passes, taking a couple of poor shots. And Carfino, you see that right knee heavily bandaged right now. And you'll see him limping. 7.35 left to play. Stokes at the free throw line. Looking inside, Carfino now to Gannon. Boyle gets his man up in the air. Dishes off to Carfino, back to Boyle now. Inside Stokes, he'll turn around, good! What a ball game by the freshman Greg Stokes out of Hamilton, Ohio. Stokes now into double figures with 10 points. And Iowa leads it by four, 7.05 left. Greg Stokes has done a great job for a freshman, showing poise, turning and facing. If he doesn't have the shot, he's faking it, and then he's giving it up, and he's waiting until he gets the good shot. Tower misses. The Hawks appear to have given that shot. They got the weak side rebound. Here's Arnold. Under seven minutes left to play. Stokes wants the ball. He can't hit this time. Tipped up by Boyle and Gannon. It was a good shot by Stokes. Just wouldn't go down. Here's Vincent. Again, Stokes blocked by Greg Stokes. Behind the back pass to Carfino. Carfino three on one break. Gannon all the way. And no. But we've got a technical foul on Lute Olsen. And the second one also no good. The Iowa Television Network cameras will move back to the Iowa Fieldhouse on Saturday. Who appears dog tired. The ball game really sped up there for a while. And it's a four point game again. Vincent came over and had a chat with Judd Heathcote. So the technical foul effectively just gave the ball back to the Spartans. They didn't get any points out of it. Perry with the turnaround. 50-48. 6.03 left. Carfino to Boyle. Counted by Bibbon. Under six minutes left to play. Arnold guarded by Kaywood. And a foul underneath will go against Will 50 to 48. Gannon with it. Uh, guarded by Perry. 
Kevin Smith came back into the ball game, just sat down for a short breather. Boyle flashing the lane, gets out of it. Greg Stokes, and he travels. And Craig Anderson gets his sweats off. He'll check into the Iowa lineup. See if Anderson comes in for Stokes. I would venture to say that, that was, that's the right call. Craig Anderson, his first time into the ball game. Anderson, the sophomore out of Madison, Wisconsin, stands 6'8". Greg Stokes will sit down. And Kevin Boyle, almost with a sliding steal. Just about timed that one. Now watch Mudd on the lob. Uh, Mudd's back in the ball game again, and he's got Craig Anderson on him. Perry can't hit this time. Perry really wants the ball after hitting that last shot. 50 to 48 still. 5-15. Gannon with him. Carfino with that heavily bandaged right knee. Boyle. And this is Kenny Arnold. And stolen away. Oh, my goodness sakes. I think thought he wasn't going to get the ball and started to move to the opposite side to set a pick. Give, uh, Kenny threw it. Just the timing was wrong. So the Iowa Hawkeyes who enjoyed a big advantage here early in the ball game, shooting 70%, now lead it by two, 50 to 48. Carfino, under five minutes left to play, 447 and counting down. Gannon, DeHanson, the jumper, no good. Tipped up, and the Spartans control it. Kevin Smith in a hurry to tower. He turns, fires, no good. Tipped up, Carfino with it. We've got some kind of ball game here, Bob, and we have to see now which team is gonna show mo the most poise in the last four minutes. Hansen inside to Anderson. Can't find anybody, and he throws it away, but Gannon is right there. Inside lob to Hansen. Gets his man up in the air and loses control of the ball. And he's fouled by Mudd. What a break the Hawkeyes got right there. What Five minutes of a goal, ball game plays with a lot of poise. We'll see, because they're going to be tested right now. Iowa by three, 51 to 48. Now down to 355. We'll keep you very aware of the clock. Bob Hogan, Charm Sherman on the Iowa Television Network. Some kind of a ball game, isn't it? 16 fouls on Iowa, five on Michigan State. Blocked by Hanson. Tries to pass it ahead to Carfino, and Smith raced, outraced Carfino, who's got the bad knee. Smith down the lane, runs over a man. Kevin Smith with the offensive foul. Bobby Hansen, who just had a block, drew the offensive charge. So 16 fouls on both teams now. So both teams will be in the bonus the next time. That last block at the defensive end. 325 left to play. Iowa by three, 51 to 48. It'll be interesting to see if Iowa elects to go to the four corners at any time in the near going. Anderson with it now. The Hawks going with the smaller, quicker lineup. Greg Stokes and Jerry Denard, both of them out of the lineup at this point. Although Stokes played an exceptional game in relief for Michael Payne with 10 points. He's Ludo, out of there right now. Real five left. Lute Olsen is watching on the bench, shaking his head. His head's nodding up and down. He wants the Hawks to keep running this offense, and it won't be too long, and they'll be going into the, uh, the spread court. Bobby Hansen had trouble with it. Gannon and Hansen. 2.45 left now. Anderson, Carfino, guarded by Smith. Here's Kevin Boyle. 2.37, Iowa, 51, Michigan State, 48. Kevin Boyle and the Iowa Hawkeyes just trying to protect the ball. Bobby Hansen with it now. The Hawks showing a lot of poise, a lot of poise by everyone. Craig Anderson's doing a good job controlling the ball. The, all the Hawks are. 2.15 left to play in the ball game. Carfino, hounded by Smith, has five seconds to get rid of it. Hansen, back to Carfino. 2.07 left to play. So a lot of time ticking off the clock now. Will the Hawks beat the Jinx? It's been 10 years since a Hawkeye victory in Jenerson Fieldhouse. 51, 48, Iowa. 150 left to play. Hansen with it now. Bobby Hansen to Steve Carfino. 140 left in the ball game. Anderson to Hansen. 
Tarfino was wide open underneath, but Iowa just trying to protect the ball. It's better that they don't shoot at this point. 1.30 left to play. Hawks are doing a great job of controlling the ball. Don't take anything but a layup. Carfino finally fouled by Kevin Smith. So Steve Carfino will go to the line to shoot one and one at one. Here, they ran off over two minutes on the clock. And Carfino with the big free throw and a sigh of relief. A four-point Hawkeye lead. Here's the bonus. And yes, he gets the bounce. Iowa by five now, 53-48. See if Michigan State puts it up in a hurry? No, they'll call a timeout. Iowa, 53, Michigan State, 48. Iowa leading it by five, 120 left to play. Kevin Smith from the corner, no good. Big rebound by Kevin Boyle, he protects the basketball, 110. Bobby Hansen right in front of our broadcast position, 105 left, Hansen drives it, dishes it off. One minute left in the ball game. Hanson to Gannon. The Hawkeyes are not thinking about shots at all. 55 seconds left. Kevin Boyle to Bobby Hanson. I can only use one word and that's poise. The Hawks are showing a lot of poise. Judd Heathcote is saying, get out defense and build house. In fact, a lot of the crowd going home, heading to the exits at this point, as Boyle misses the second one. And the foul is called on Hanson. It could have gone the other way. Hanson fouls Vincent. Wanted to make sure that Iowa gets the ball in now against the full court press by Michigan State after this free throw. Second one, this is the bonus free throw, and it is good. A four point game now, 54 to 50. 41 seconds left, and Carfino is fouled by Tim Gore. Two of the Iowa veterans, Mark Gannon took the ball out of bounds, looked at a couple of options, they weren't open. And Carfino, boy, he's so cool for a sophomore. Lou Olson is standing right in front of the scorer's bench saying, do you mean to tell me that only one second elapsed on that whole play that Iowa got the ball clear into the half line? 55-50 is the second one, no good. Kevin Smith. Sam Vincent bothered by Hanson, but Vincent scores. Three-point ball game. Anderson having trouble, gets it to Carfino. But Carfino is fouled before the turnover. Next inbounds play. And this one no good. 55-52, 23 seconds. Smith, Vincent, yes, it went. A one-point ball game. 15 seconds left. And we've got a timeout. Those fans that left are because Carfino couldn't hit his last two free throws. Iowa 55, Michigan State 54, and Judd Heathcote has called, called a jump ball. No, I think he called foul on number 11. Let's see. Michigan State foul 11, Sam Vincent. Okay, a foul on number 11, Sam Vincent. But the official went up with his hands above his head with one finger, which is usually the universal sign for a jump ball. The crowd went wild. I, I, and I thought I saw him call the foul right away because I think that I thought the same thing too when the crowd started to cheer. One and one for Hanson. Iowa leads it by just one point. And Hanson knew that he had not given the ball quite enough and said, come on, baby, give me the kiss off the glass. And he got it. Iowa by two. Now a very big free throw. Now, Iowa's defense is important going down to the other end of the court because J uh, Kevin Smith is going to try to drive probably and penetrate. And Hanson hits them both. The pressure free throws. And Lute Olson calls a timeout. They're going to use, uh, they're going to use uh, a zone. They're using a zone, not letting Smith penetrate. Smith, the ball batted around. Seven seconds left. The bucket good. Five seconds. Let the Four, clock go. Let three. the clock go. Three seconds left. And the official oh. said, this is an interesting call. The official just said, stop the clock. The I official don't. just said, stop the clock. Apparently, Iowa has five seconds to get it in bounds. And one tick went off right there. Two seconds now left on the clock. Kevin Boyle will inbound it. Again, the clock was very slow in getting started. Very slow. 
All sorts of interesting things going on here with the clock. And Kevin Boyle gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Two seconds left. I will lead by one. And he's going to be short. Two, one, and no! And the Iowa Hawkeyes have beaten the Michigan State Spartans. They've beaten the Jettison Jinx. The Iowa Hawkeyes defeat the Spartans, 57 to 56. We'll be back to wrap it all up.